Hey guys, so, oh my gosh, this is a year later, and I just want to give you guys an update because this is really exciting for me. So if you missed my first video on how I quit smoking, I quit cold turkey, and I'll put that video down below if you guys want to watch it, but yeah, it's a year later, and it's kind of flown by, and I honestly just forgot about smoking and cigarettes, and that's the honest truth. Like, when I first quit smoking cigarettes, it was hard, like, the first week especially, and the first month, I'd say, it was really hard, but it does get easier, and I've honestly, again, I've forgotten about smoking and cigarettes, and I stopped craving cigarettes months ago, like, months ago. I can't tell you how many months ago, but here we are a year later, and I have no desire to smoke cigarettes ever, like, ever again, and I'm just really pumped and proud of myself because when you do smoke and you are a smoker, at least for me, I identified as a smoker, and I thought, I'm just gonna be a smoker because I like it and whatever, like, <laughs> I just didn't care, but at the same time I did care and I did want to quit because when you do smoke and you start feeling physically not good, <laughs> it starts to take a toll on you, or at least it did for me, and it got to the point where I was like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I don't like smoking. I smoked mostly on the weekends, and then I would exercise throughout the week, and that sucked because I ended up getting chest pain and I wasn't breathing as well as I am now. Man, it's like a completely, I'm like a completely different person now. Um, I don't have trouble breathing, I don't have chest pain, I don't smell bad, I don't think. <laughs> like, I love my skincare products and I love smelling good and, like, having, like, my shampoos and conditioners that smell nice and, like, perfumes. And, like, I don't smell like cigarette smoke anymore, so that's nice. I don't like the smell of cigarette smoke. Um, yeah, I'm just, like, I don't think I smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> if you're around me in real life and I smell bad, please let me know. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, right now, I at this point in my life, I don't see myself ever going back to smoking cigarettes because it made me feel like crap. I didn't like the way it smelled or the way I smelled or the way I tasted. Like, you know, when you have, you know, you smoke a cigarette and you, that leaves a taste in your mouth and it's not a pleasant experience. <laughs> It's not a good taste. Now I can like taste food way better and I don't know, I like all my senses are back. I feel like a kid again. I, I know that might sound kind of strange, but you know when like you're younger before you ever started smoking cigarettes at all? Like I feel like that again. It feels really good. I feel like the nicotine also amped up my anxiety and my anxiety is like nothing now. Like I never have anxiety. Whereas before I would get anxiety all the time. I would have panic attacks every week and I feel like it was just my my thoughts in my head. I'd let them go scattered and crazy and since I don't smoke cigarettes anymore I feel like that's really calmed down and I feel like I live each moment in the present moment which is awesome. I also quit drinking alcohol a little over a month ago so if you want to see that video as well I'll put it down in the description bar but yeah knocking out cigarettes and also alcohol 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 um <laughs> That's really helped my anxiety and also my mood when I got really low because I used to get really anxious or really depressed. And so yeah, knocking out nicotine and also alcohol, that has helped so much. I am at my best state right now, I feel like, in my life. Like this is, I've never felt better than how I feel right now. And it's just those chemicals in your body, those will go crazy. <laughs> especially with like alcohol or whatever so yeah again if you want to see how I quit drinking alcohol or why I quit drinking alcohol I'll put that video down below in the description as well but right now I just feel really good I work out every week I eat pretty well honestly since I quit drinking alcohol I like to get some treats for myself like yesterday at the store I got some hot chocolate hot cocoa with some mini marshmallows or I'll drink like a Shirley Temple or something so yeah I think it's fair to like treat yourself if you like quit a, a bad habit or a habit that you didn't like or whatever, I think it's fair to reward yourself or be like, hey, I'm gonna have one of these instead or whatever. Yeah, I just feel really good and I've only noticed positives and that's really exciting and really cool because the, the thing that I think was the hardest when it came to quitting smoking was being a social smoker because that's pretty much what I was. I didn't usually smoke a cigarette on my own. Sometimes I would, but mostly I would do it around other people that were smoking. So I thought that was the hardest part. Once I could get over that bit, then it was easy after that. That's the hardest part, I think, for me. Or was for me. Being around other smokers and also drinking alcohol with that, that made it really, really hard to quit. So I quit smoking first, and then I quit drinking alcohol. And yeah, I don't see myself as a smoker anymore. I'm not a smoker anymore. I used to smoke. And yeah, I actually had a doctor's appointment the other day, and they asked me. They're like, well, how, do you smoke? And I'm like, no. I used to. They're like, do you drink? I'm like, no. <laughs> like, I sound... 
That sounds, I don't know if that sounds boring, but it works for me. And you gotta do what's best for you. So I honestly forgot about smoking and I looked into my app. I used to check this app all the time, My Last Cigarette. This is not sponsored at all. This is the app that I, I, I was using the whole time that I had quit smoking like I checked this app all the time every day like probably every hour, hour of the day because I just got like really into it and obsessed with it but it's called My Last Cigarette and officially it been a year yesterday so today I'm actually filming this video on Friday the 13th <laughs> but it's been one day or sorry one year one day 10 hours 29 minutes and it's cool because it shows you how much money you've saved as well. So like looking at that throughout a whole year, like how much money you've saved on top of like how you're saving your health. And it, I just think it's really cool. So definitely check out this app. Again, it's not sponsored. It's just what I have been checking into um, this past year. But I looked at it like a few days ago and I was like, oh my gosh, my one year anniversary is coming up. I have to make a video about this. But ultimately, if you're watching this video, the only thing I want you to go away with basically is if you are a smoker or you're thinking about quitting smoking, it is possible. It really is. I know it seems like it's not. It is possible. And this is me on the other side of things looking back and thinking, I never thought I'd be able to quit. Like, I proved myself wrong. How wild is that? Like, I proved myself wrong thinking, oh, I could never give up cigarettes. Like, I, I'm just a smoker. That's just who, that's just a part of my life. That's just who I am. And that's, that's not true. Like, if you want to change something, you can change something, whether it be cold turkey or with medicine or with therapy. Like, you have to find what works for you. And if you really want to quit, you can do it. I believe in you wholeheartedly. I just... I'm rooting for you. If I could like talk to you face to face, I totally would. It is possible and there is a lot of different resources out there and a lot of help out there if you're someone who's looking to quit or if you're struggling with it. But yeah, looking back, I can't believe I was that stressed out and worried about quitting when it's not so bad. It's really not so bad. I feel like the first few weeks are the hardest. That's the toughest to like stick through, but once you can do that, it does get easier and this doesn't have to be a part of your life you can have a healthy life and you'll feel so good you will feel so good being able to like <gasps> breathe in deep and have an awesome just breath of fresh air like wow way to look out for yourself but yeah if you walk away from anything from this video just know that it is possible and i'm rooting for you and yeah i'm just really happy and excited yeah think of all the money you get to save too like that's really cool <laughs> So yeah, that's it for this video. I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know how it's going with me. And yeah, I just feel awesome and I'm super pumped for myself. And that's pretty, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I hope you guys found this video hopeful and helpful. But I'll put some links down below in the description bar that have helped me throughout the year and hopefully they will help you as well. But yeah, again, that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe because I like putting out lifestyle videos like this where I just sit down and talk to you guys about what's going on in my life and other topics as well. So yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, bye.